The artistic vision for Into the Dead Our Darkest Days is to bring to life 1980 Walton City, Texas. So I guess for me, what's exciting about this title and different um, is us indulging in that world and sort of getting lost into it from the environments, the characters. There's still like the 70s, which is rolling into 1980 in terms of horror film aesthetic and sensibilities and that kind of thing. So I think we're kind of pulling and drawing from, from that and trying to represent it on the computer screen for our, our players, yeah. There's a lot of zombie games out there, so figuring out how we can position ourselves sort of aesthetically different and sort of pushing that um, for our audience, giving them something fresh. Uh, looking at the general horror sort of zombie genre you'd see today, it's usually quite grungy, lots of black and white. Just very dark and grim and gritty and grimy where we're trying to maybe carve out or look at a space that is, you know, has a bit more colour because we're trying to represent that period. You know, we're um, bringing in that 1980 aesthetic through patterns, textures, colour, creating that sort of rhythm through lighting and theatrical sort of scenes. We're using Unity, we're using HDRP, and I guess it has a lot of benefits in terms of the lighting that we can present within our, our environments. You, you could create any number of moods based on the kind of lighting that you're employing. Uh, you can create something with beautiful theatrical lighting on something that's so simple and you can get a great response. You know, we're looking at how that can sort of create a, a great moment for the audience. Yeah, I guess we are kind of trying to push Unity and HDRP and well, I'm, I am trying to create the best computer graphics I can. <laughs> computer graphics. People say, that looks great, and I'm sitting there going, I ain't crying yet, I'm not jumping out of my seat. So I look to push the team there, that's when I essentially become a bit of a bad cop. Leave no stone unturned in, in terms of uh, looking for ways to improve what we've produced. You know, not an easy task, um, but we'll do the best we can. I think it's good to be brave and not be afraid to showcase something that's different to stand out from the crowd. Uh, but the bottom line of everything that we create for me is an emotional response. Emotional response creates longevity. Artistically, I want people to look at it and go, wow, that looks great, I feel absolutely horrified.